I'm Chong Wan Ling. I'm, I teach in SJKC Peng Min, Alastar Kedah. Now, my lesson is about, uh, it's about phonics. So, in those two lessons, I teach the sound E. So, phonics is a very important uh, part of English because it helps the students to read and ultimately to write. Okay, today we are going to learn a new sound. So before that, we are going to play a guessing game. So this is a the board. Huh? Now, there are word number cards on it. So can you see? Number one, two, three, four, five, and six. six. So behind the number cards, there is a hidden picture. Now your goal is to guess the hidden picture behind it. Okay, now first I want you to put up your hands. I will call you, call your name. Okay, now you give me a number. I will remove the number cards and then a part of the picture you will be able to see. Now you have from this small part of the picture, you have to guess what the picture is. Right? Now if you can't guess it, it's okay. We give your friend another chance. Right? Now, do you understand how to play this game? Yes. Yes. Now, who wants to start off this game? Hmm. Jia? Number five, please, teacher. Number five. All right. Now, Jia, can you guess what this is? I don't think so, teacher. Okay, that's fine. Good try. Thank you very much, Jia. Now, who wants to give me a second number? Mama? Number three, please, teacher. Number three. Now, this is very easy now for you. Lola, what is this? It's a leaf, teacher. It's a leaf. Now, what makes you think that it is a leaf, Lola? Because I see something green. Oh, yes, it is green, right? So, it is a, a leaf. Well done. Okay, I'll put this front here. We'll need it later. Okay, now, let's try a second picture, okay? Now, who wants to give me a number? Hmm. Chen Number two, please, teacher. Number two. This is easy. What is this? It is a seal. A seal. Now, what makes you think it's a seal? What can you see here? I see a nose, eyes, and a ball. Yes, a uh, a nose, eyes, and a, a ball. Thank you, Chen Chen. Now, where do you usually see a seal playing with a ball? Yes, Ju Yi? At the zoo. At the zoo or at the? Circus. Circus. Very good. Now, put this up. Alright, now we are going to guess the last Okay, now, who wants to give it a try? Jess? Number four, please, teacher. Number four, right. Now, Jess, do you know what this is? I don't know, teacher. No, you don't know because it's all yellow, right? Yellow and orangey. Okay, thank you, Jess. Who wants to give me the second number? Cindy? Teacher, may I try? Yes, can you give me a number, please? Mm. Number three, please. Number three. Now, do you know what's the answer? Mm, I don't know. It's okay. This is very hard, right? Now, let yes. me give you a clue. Okay. Now, this is part of a bird's body. What is it? Mm, is it a beak? Uh, yes, it is a beak. Well done. Can you give her a clap? Yeah? Okay. I'm going to put this up. Alright, now. Can you say these three words together? Right? Slowly. Together. Leaf. Big. Now, I want you to listen to me saying the word. Carefully. Okay. Leaf. Seal. Big. Okay. Now listen again. 
leaf, seal, and beak. Now, what is the common sound? The same sound that these three words have. What are what is the sound? Yes, Joanne. E. e. Now, can everybody say E? E. Uh, e is a long vowel. So this is the sound that we are going to learn today. Okay. E sound. Um, All right. Now, usually in my phonics lesson, I use the phonics fan. It contains uh, forty-four sounds. Uh, in English, and there are colorful cards. So when students are playing with the cards, firstly, uh, it helps me to control my class. Okay, why do I say that? First, because those uh, pupils who are who likes to call out their answer, they wouldn't be able to do that. They will have to find. The, the answer and then hide it against their chest so they, they can't uh, call out their answer. Uh, secondly, for those who are quieter, now it gives them a, a chance to, uh, shout, uh, to, to show their answers as well. So in a way, it is a very good uh, assessment tool for me to as assess all the pupils at one go. So when they show their cards, I can see who has actually mastered the skill and who has not. We are going to use our phonics fan to form the words, the three words. Okay? Now, first I want you to open the box and take out your phonics fan. Everybody got their phonics fans? Yes, okay. Now, listen to me first, right? First, I will say fine. Okay, when I say fine, you spread your phonic fans to find out the answer. When you have found your answer, okay, let's say you found your answer, you put the answer against your chest like this. You hide your answer. Okay, the moment I shout, Show. And then you show me your answer. Like this. Understand? Okay, we are going to form these three words. Okay? Are you ready? Now, before that, how many sounds are there in this word? Three. Three. How do you know? There are three frames, right? Three squares here. So, one, two, three. It means that it has three sounds. Now, listen to how I st stretch this word. Okay? Leaf. Leaf. Okay? Ready? Fine. If you have found your answer, put it against your chest. So that I know you have got your answer. Okay? Good. Now, ready? Show it. Show it. Good. It's okay if you can't find it. Try it again later. Now, let's sound the word out together. L, E. Good. Alright, now let's go to the second word. Now, how many sounds are there in this word? Three. Also three sounds. Now listen to how I stretch the word. Okay, listen carefully. E okay. E ready? Fine.
Okay, when you found it, hide it. Can you help Rivita, Chen Chen? Okay, now show it. Yes, great. Now, can you sound it out together? E, C, again. E, C, good. Now, the last word. How many sounds are there in this word? Three. Three. Now, listen to I how I sound the word, right? E -k -b -e -k -b -e -k. All right, fine. Okay, hide it. Now, show it. Well done, good. Yes, Fungli, that's right. Okay, now let's sound the word together. B. D. B. Eek. Beak. Again. Eek. Beak. All right. Now, you may keep your phonics fan. We'll go on to the next activity. Right?